Hi, it's Esko from Fillerikesä blog or uh, fillari.blogspot.com. Quite often I'm asked how do I create this kind of racing videos uh, while riding. So this is video part one or the setup. How do I um, set the cameras up uh, with the bike? This evening we have a small local race and there are two cameras attached uh, on the handlebar. There is this kind of a combination mount that uh, can carry the Garmin Edge 520 uh, computer and my Hero uh, GoPro Hero 7 Black camera. I tend to tilt the cameras a little bit downwards in order to get the uh, feeling of the uh, speed and uh, not too much so that the heads of the other riders won't be cut away. It's both uh, interesting and informative to have a camera shooting uh, behind you so you can see the faces and what's happening uh, in the bunch uh, behind you. So here I have a mount uh, on the seat railings for GoPro and uh, this frame is for a smaller GoPro Hero 5 session camera. It's a very handy, nice and light camera as such. Only that uh, the battery is internal, so uh, you can't change this battery and it lasts something like 80 minutes or so. But for an evening race, that's good enough. Here on my other uh, road bike, there is this the uh, standard Garmin mount that came with the computer and I've 3D printed an adapter for my camera uh, over there. So um, I have a GoPro Hero 5 session camera here as well. If I do a longer ride, uh, this 80 minutes of, of battery juice won't be enough. So if it's not rainy, I uh, ride the lid open and I attach a cord, a uh, charging cord there and uh, I have a, uh, the cord goes to the uh, frame bag where there is an external uh, extra battery bag. Uh, it's only, this, this is very, very light and cheap and small, it's only 2600 uh, milliampere hours, but it triples uh, the uh, time that this session can take. Furthermore, if it's very sunny and the uh, sky is clear and very bright, I use uh, this kind of a, a gradient uh, grayscale filter. So it uh, dims the sky a little bit darker and uh, it won't uh, sort of blow the image uh, with all the excessive contrast. So I prefer using that. And keep in mind that if you have your camera upside down, uh, put it so that the grayer part is above. In order to avoid any uh, data reading errors that I've had every now and then, I use only the fastest memory cards like this one. So this was part one and uh, it, it will be a race this evening and part two will tell how I edit and how I combine racing and writing data to the video. Thanks for watching.